Mexico, across more than a dozen U.S. states and eastern Canada, millions of people turned their eyes towards the sky this morning to witness the most anticipated celestial event of the year, the solar eclipse, of course. KCAL News reporter Rena Nakano takes us to a watch party at Cal State Long Beach. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. It's an exciting day for Dr. Joel Zinn, astronomy and physics professor at Long Beach State University, a day where the community gets to share his love for all things celestial through the solar eclipse. From LA County, we're not able to see that total solar eclipse, but we are able to see about a 50% coverage. Janora McDuffie heard about the watch party online and came to campus to claim a spot on the upper lawn. We got snacks, we got our lawn chairs, we are ready. She's using solar eclipse glasses to witness the spectacular event. And that makes it safe to look at the sun. I know that maximum coverage here is happening at 1111, and I love a good omen and a good sign. So I'm hoping to, I don't know, say my, my deepest prayer. Many also took turns looking through the school's six solar telescopes. A filter that will get rid of all but a very particular color of light, and then you can look at that projection through the eyepiece here. Others even brought or made Made special instruments from home. And when the time came, three, two, one, we have reached maximum coverage. McDuffie says she took a deep breath and said her prayer. You never know what life has in store, so at least I have today. Unfortunately, if you miss today's event, you won't be able to see another one for quite some time. The next solar eclipse that happens in the contiguous United States is in 2044. But if you want to head up to Alaska, you can see one in 2033. Oh, the next one is in Alaska. OK, we'll get a coat, a coat and a plane ticket right now. <laughs> in Long Beach, I'm Rena Nakano, KCAL News.